So I'm guessing you're looking to get your business funded or at least hear about the different business funding options. Don't worry, you're in the right place. I'm gonna explain the best options that are available today and I can even help you obtain one of those options uh, for you and your business. So stay tuned. Welcome to Grow by Joe. I'm all about helping business owners grow um, through information, resources, uh, financing, and all necessary services that you'll need to run a business. If you don't know me, well, I created a uh, business lending platform back in 2007, and since then, um, it's grown to have over 75 different lenders on it. We've combined all the best lenders all across the country, put everything all in one place, and made it really easy for business owners to get financing. I'm gonna talk about some of those best financing options that are available today, and then if, if you think any of those make sense for your business, I'll drop a link at the end of this video, um, and you can speak with one of my team members that can talk through those options further and even help you get them uh, for your business. So obviously getting uh, business financing at a bank is extremely frustrating, challenging. Um, it's a long process. It's the exact reason why I created um, my platform, my company, uh, back in 2007. So number one, small business loans. Um, there's a number of different small business loans available today. There's a number of lenders um, that offer and provide small business loans. The challenge is, is finding that right lender that makes sense uh, for you and your business. As you may know, every business is completely different from each other. Even two of the same franchises, like two subways, one subway owner and one subway location to the next will be different from one another. So finding that right lender um, is really crucial and key. As a business owner doing everything else in your business, it can be super frustrating trying to shop around and find that right one. So that's why we created that platform. But in a nutshell, small business loans, they're probably one of the most flexible financing options that are available. Um, all you need is about one year time in business and a minimum of about $120,000 a year in annual gross sales. Um, they really look at cash flow, um, so they're not based on having any type of hard assets collateral which is great, like a real estate or equipment or anything like that. So if you don't own real estate, you don't have any hard assets, um, you can get a small business loan pretty simply. They're very flexible uh, on credit depending on the lender. And depending on the lender, um, they'll also really just focus on um, other things in your business besides just your personal FICO score. So if there is a challenge there, that's okay not to worry. There's definitely an option available for you. If you have excellent credit, there is options available for you as well too. So option number two is a business term loan. Um, these are great options. Um, they go out to about two, uh, three, and even sometimes four year terms. Um, they offer monthly payments, which is great. They'll give you about your lowest cost of capital, uh, which is great. The requirements here um, are a little bit more stringent. You're gonna need to have better credit, so a 680 plus FICO score or higher. Um, you're gonna need at least two years time in business or more. Um, and there's certain industries that are restricted, so depending on your industry may or may uh, make up uh, which lender would be right for you here. Um, also here, you're gonna need to be doing at least $125,000 a year in annual gross sales. Obviously, the more the better. Obviously, the more the larger the approval. But this is a great option, um, nice long term. If you're looking to do something in the business, um, any type of improvements, expansion, having that longer term um, is definitely nice. Um, so you can stretch those payments out and um, make it easier on your cash flow. Option number three is a business line of credit. Um, business line of credits were pretty much almost extinct um, once the recession hit. Um, most banks and other lenders and, and funding sources completely dried up and stopped offering business line of credits. Um, you know, in the last probably 18 to 24 months, there's been some real innovation um, with a few great lenders that have brought back business credit lines. Um, they're a really great tool. Some cool things technology-wise um, is um, they, the lenders connect right to your bank account, so make it really easy um, to collect the payments back. But if you, need, um, if you need money, you can literally log online, click a button, have money in your bank account the same day. So for a business line of credit, you're gonna need at least two years time in business. Uh, you're gonna have to have a 600 credit score. At the very minimum, you need to do $120,000 a year in annual gross sales. Obviously, the higher the amount of money that you do in sales, the larger the credit line will be. All right, so option four um, is equipment leasing. If you're looking to purchase specific pieces of equipment uh, in your business, um, whether it's a truck, a vehicle, uh, restaurant equipment, manufacturing equipment, IT equipment, even office furniture, any type of equipment 
for office furniture. Um, you can utilize equipment leasing for. The great beauty about equipment leasing is they go all the way out to about five-year terms. Um, for some larger equipment, they'll sometimes go out longer. Um, if you're looking to put solar panels um, in your building, uh, this can be a great option and, and, and some, um, some solar leasing options right now actually go out to about 10 years and sometimes even longer than that. Another great thing that I love about equipment financing is it uses that specific piece of equipment as collateral so it doesn't lock up your business and you can still utilize um, or obtain these other um, financing products as well too, which is really great. Um, so if you're looking to purchase a specific piece of equipment, I would utilize um, equipment leasing uh, or financing um, in order to do so. Stretch it out over a longer period of term, reduce your cash flow, um, which is great um, for profitability. Um, also speak with your accountant because um, you can still take advantage of some great tax benefits even if you finance that piece of equipment um, and depreciate it at an accelerated rate, which is awesome. Option number five is an SBA loan. Everyone thinks that an SBA loan is the best thing that they should get for their business. An, an SBA loan, um, I think, is great when you're utilizing it for certain things in your business. The great thing about an SBA loan is they offer a 10-year term on their working capital product. But if you're looking to purchase real estate, um, the terms can go out to 25 years. What's changed recently is prime rates come up. So a lot of the SBA loans, uh, right now prime rate as I'm doing this video is about 5.5%. So a lot of the SBA loans are about prime plus 3%, let's call it, which would bring your rate up to about 8.5%. And that rate amortized over a 10-year period, if you're looking to just use financing for some working capital, um, can actually wind up being more expensive than some of these other products that are out there. An SBA loan also has um, much stronger requirements. You're going to need a minimum of about a 680 credit score. There's a lot of paperwork that's involved, three-year personal and business tax returns, uh, financials, and usually a personal financial statement that you need to be uh, filled out and completed. It is a longer process. Um, the process um, on an SBA loan is about 45 to 60 days and even sometimes 90. With the recent government shutdown, uh, it's definitely going to be longer, where all these other products you can get financed in um, you know, one to uh, three days, depending on the size of the loan and the lender. Um, so that's a big difference. Again, the SBA loan, I think, is great if you have to make capital improvements to your business or your building, things that you aren't going to see an immediate return on investment on. So let's say you have to do, redo the roof or the parking lot in your building um, or just update your office. If you're not going to see immediate returns on that, then it might make sense to utilize an SBA loan to take advantage of that 10-year term and stretch it out. But if you're going to be doing things that you're going to see instant returns on, then it definitely makes sense to do um, one of these different uh, lending products. The terms are shorter. The total cost of, of capital um, will wind up actually being cheaper than stretching it out over a 10-year term, even though the rate seems like it's less here. So it's really something to think about. There's a lot of different options here that I went over. These are five different options. There's a lot of different lenders that offer these options, and all of those lenders have different requirements and guidelines. And again, depending on your personal credit score, your business credit score, yes, there is business credit, your current cash flow, the industry that you're in, the state that you're located in, will make up which lender can actually help you. So what I recommend is check out this link below, um, fill out the form. You can have a simple conversation with someone on my team um, we won't need any type of information up front. You don't have to fill out any applications. Um, you don't have to provide any financial information. We'll do a simple phone call with you. One of my team members will just kind of talk through what you're looking to get accomplished, ask you some simple, very easy to answer questions about your business, and from there probably tell you which one of these products you qualify for and roughly what those terms would be. So check out that link below. I'd love to help you obtain the business funding that you need in order to grow your business. And remember, all businesses need access to capital and they need even more access to capital when they're growing. Check out that link below. Let us do all the work. Let us match you with our best one of these lenders so you can get back to doing what you do best and that's growing your business. I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to, uh, to my channel. I wish you nothing but success in your business and we'll talk soon. Take care.